How's it going guys? Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox Avatar Tricks video. So today it's a Halloween themed one. Well, kind of. We are going to be testing all of the best headless head avatar tricks. Some of these tricks work on R6, some of them work on R15, and they are all so much cheaper than the original Headless Horseman package. So if 31,000 Robux is a little bit too expensive for you, well, you're in luck. Most of the tricks in this video cost like a few hundred Robux. Some of them are very cheap, but yeah, if you're like me and you can't afford this, well, on this Roblox account anyway, well, let me show you loads of different Headless Horseman tricks so you can basically get headless for yourself without having to spend 31,000 Robux. So let's get onto the first fake headless trick on the list. This one is actually for R6 characters only. Like I said, I do have R15 ones coming up later in the video, but what you guys want to do is just go into body or head and body and scale. Make sure your avatar is on R6. Then if I just go to recent, and all I want to show you guys what accessories I will be using. The first thing you need is this, the City Life Woman Bundle. Now luckily this one is free, so this trick is pretty cheap. We only need the head from this one. And you will also need some kind of scarf accessory. You can use this one, Black Cozy Scarf for 1.0 avatars. You can use whatever you want pretty much. And then on your avatar editor, you guys want to equip the scarf. You also want to wear the City Life Woman head. Then you want to go into head and body. You want to go to skin tone this time and you want to scroll down click on advanced select head guys and you want to make sure the head is pitch black so yeah choose this black color here click on done and now you can wear some accessories you can wear some free hair you could wear some hair you paid robux for it's entirely up to you you can really customize your character at this part and once you have a shirt and pants selected as well your avatar should now be done let me show you how it looks inside of a game so it is kind of unfortunate that this one is for r6 only but this is definitely one of the cheapest ones on the list. So if you guys mainly play R6 Roblox games, maybe give this one a try. As you can see, inside of the games, it does look pretty decent. You can slightly see the head, but at a first glance, this really does look like headless. I mean, look, if I compare my avatar to this person's, my avatar really looks like he doesn't have a head. So yeah, this one's pretty cheap. It's pretty decent. The only disadvantage is it only works inside of R6 games, which is a bit sad, but there you go. I have some R15 ones as well. Moving on to my headless trick number two. This one is actually an R15 trick, so make sure your avatar is currently selected on the R15 body type. This one is a little bit more expensive. We're going to need the Malavinius bundle. This currently costs around 300 Robux, and you guys probably guessed it, we only need it for the head. And you will also need this. A bit random, but it's a bit cheap. It's the black top head top hat accessory. And yeah, basically what you want to do is wear this head and wear the hat at the same time, they are going to combine together and they are going to look like a floating accessory, giving off the illusion that your avatar is headless. So there you go, as you guys can see, it really does look like my avatar doesn't have a head. You can change your body type if you want to, to try and make it look a little bit better. I would also recommend combining this with other random accessories, maybe antlers and stuff like that. Anyway, let me show you guys what it looks like inside of a game. So in a Roblox game, so you guys can see what it looks like. I do like this one. I think the only downside is maybe the head is a little bit too low to the body. If it was ever so slightly higher, maybe to here, I think it would look really good. But honestly, for an R15 headless trick, I think this one is very decent. This one's pretty customizable. The only thing is your avatar kind of has to have a top hat. This next one, so headless trick number three, this one is actually one of my favorites. However, this one is an R6 one. What we're going to need, guys, is the iron bulb for 250 Robux. We need the head from this package. We also need this thing, a UGC item called Neck Blood. Obviously, choose the 1.0 version. And to complete it, we will also need a cartoony neck bone for headless. I don't know how it's cartoony, but yeah, there you go. So if you go onto skin tone on the avatar editor, make sure to just choose whatever skin tone you want, but scroll down and click on advanced. And for the head, guys, you want to change this to white, then just click on done. Then basically equip the items we purchased. You want to wear the cartoony neck bone. You want to wear the blood as well. You also want to wear the iron bulb head. And what this is kind of going to do is like blend into the bone to kind of make it look like your avatar's head has gone missing and there's just a bone sticking out. This one's brand new. This trick's like new for 2022, I guess. And it's definitely one of my favorites. Let me add in some other random accessories and I can show you how it looks inside of a game. So as I was saying, unfortunately, this one only works on R6, but this has got to be one of my 
favorites. I mean, that looks so cool. It's not too expensive either. You only need like a few hundred Robux. But yeah, I rate that a lot. If this worked on R15, I'd be really pleased. But unfortunately, it doesn't. But anyway, if you guys want to give this one a try, it does look very decent. There is in fact two parts to this trick. If you guys go back into head and body and skin tone, scroll down, click on advanced, select head and make sure it's pitch black. If you actually wear some black hair with this, it can also look pretty decent. So as you guys can see on my avatar right now, it's looking not too bad. Let me wear some hair. See what I mean? It also looks pretty good. And again, just showing it off inside of a game, this one actually looks incredibly good. Unless you turn your avatar to the side a bit too much. But yeah, apart from that, this one has a very, very good illusion. Like I said, the only downside is it only works in R6 games. So for trick number four, let's move on to another R15 one. You guys will need the head from the Elemental Crystal Golem. This bundle is 400, so a little bit pricey. You will also need the fluffy collar. This one is only 30 Robux, pretty decent price. And maybe you want an accessory to go with it. I went with the angel wings with a fluffy halo because it actually fitted in perfectly with this style of headless trick. And yep, you want to combine all of the stuff. So make sure your avatar is on R15 mode. Go and wear the elemental crystal golem head. Also wear the fluffy collar. Then go ahead and wear the halo and wings if you want it. Also wear a shirt and pants to complete the bundle. Next, you guys want to go into head and body, go into scale, make sure your head is the smallest size and also make sure your body type is on 100% and you should be good to go. And this one is cool, you know, this is probably one of my other favorite ones on the list. This might actually be my favorite R15 one. The only downside is you basically have to wear this collar thing, but apart from that, it looks pretty good. There might actually be another scarf or like another collar on the avatar shop. You could probably swap it for. So if you didn't really like this furry one, probably don't worry too much. But yeah, for a headless trick, which is pretty cheap, how much was it? Like 350 Robux, something like that. It looks very good. This is definitely one of my favorite headless tricks. This next one, headless trick number five, is also an R6 one. And this one is an exclusive one for the girls. Yeah, this trick only really works with girl avatars. Well, as far as I know anyway. This trick does require the head from the junk bot bundle, but luckily this one is free. And it also requires some cheap UGC hair. You can use this one if you want to, the aesthetic brown ponytail made by Archie Texture. Or the same girl also made a blonde one. I believe she currently has a lot of hair on her UGC shop, which works with this headless trick. So if you want to scroll through and find which one you like, go for it. But really what you're looking for is some hair which looks like this, which is kind of like a solid hair if that makes sense. Because if your avatar is on R6 and you combine this hair with the junk bot's head, it will actually give off a really 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 good headless illusion. See what I mean? And it looks even better inside of Roblox games. I added in some random necklaces and stuff, but you can see the effect that this has like a headless looking effect. It's very, very good. I do like it. It works very, very well with the junk bot head. This one is incredibly good, but the downside, like I said earlier, guys, it only works on R6 games, which is a bit sad. There's not really much we can do about that. But if you guys want to try this inside of a game, then go for it. I think it only cost around 50 Robux or something. And guess what guys, for headless trick number six, it's another R15 one. We will need to buy this creepy looking thing, the Mushiro Night Watchman, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I think so. It's 250 Robux and it's this creepy looking mushroom guy. I went with this accessory as well, the Black Barret, but you can also select a red one and I'll show you why in a minute. And I also went with this one, the Doe Scarf. So yep, on the avatar editor, copy these settings, body type 100, head on 95, then if you go to all of your accessories, if you go ahead and wear the head from the bundle, also wear the other things like the black beret and the doe scarf. Also wear a shirt and pants if you want to. As you can see, your avatar does look headless. You can also add in some other accessories if you want. Yeah, so the reason why I said you could do this with a red beret or a red hat if you wanted to, because if you choose red, it looks like your avatar's head is chopped off. If you choose black, it just looks like your avatar's head is missing. But again, this one is pretty good. Not gonna lie, the other one I showed you with like the fluffy collar thing. That one was a bit better, but this one is pretty much the same thing and it does also work pretty well. And the final trick for this video, I think that's trick number seven, is a classic one. It's an R6 one. Let me show you guys how it works. We are going to need this thing. For 250 Robux, you can pick up the Noob Attack Mech Mobility. For accessories, you will need to pick up one of these, a UGC item called the Black Combat Scarf. And just for an extra accessory, you don't have to copy me with this one, but I'm 
also going to be using the vampire headphones. This one is very, very straightforward. Go ahead, wear the noob attack head. Also wear the black combat scarf and there you go. You've basically got headless activated. Now the reason why I said pick up some headphones or something similar is because there is actually like an aerial coming out of the noob attack's head and you can use like various accessories to actually hide the aerial. So as you can see, looking like this is pretty decent. We can also try this inside of a game. This trick is definitely one of the classic ones. It is very cool though. They've all got disadvantages. I guess the disadvantage for this one is kind of the aerial thing. Also the fact it doesn't really work in L15. But apart from that, if you guys play R6 games and you want to try this trick, well, go for it. So there we go, guys. That is all of the seven headless head tricks I wanted to show you in today's video. Most of them look pretty good. Some of them are better than others, but all of them are definitely a lot cheaper than the official Headless Horseman bundle. If you guys need the links for the accessories, it will all be linked down below in the video description on Pastebin. So if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Cheers for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.